PageSpeed Insights makes it easy to audit any page on the web. That can be your own site, the site of a potential client, a competitor, or just a website you're curious about. Just go to pagespeed.web.dev and enter the website URL to start the analysis. Let's take a high-level look at the report PageSpeed Insights provides. At the top of the report, you can see via user data that Google has collected about your website. This data comes from the Chrome User Experience Report, which is collected from real visitors using Chrome on your website. If your website doesn't get a lot of traffic, you might not see any data here. It also takes 30 days for the metrics to fully reflect changes on your website. The real user data focuses on the three core Web Vitals metrics. Largest content for paint, which tells you how quickly your website loads. Interaction to next paint, which measures how long the page takes to respond to user input. And finally, cumulative layout shift, which measures whether page content shifts around after it is rendered. These metrics form the basis of the core Web Vitals assessment, which can impact Google rankings. Google focuses on the 75th percentile of visitor experience. So if PageSpeed Insights says that your website takes three seconds to load, that means 25% of visitors waited longer than that. You can also see the metric data grouped into three different buckets of good, needs improvement, and poor. Click Expand View to get an explanation of the breakdown data. Below the real user data, you get additional diagnostics. This data is collected on demand by Google when you run the test. For privacy reasons, the Chrome User Experience Report just includes performance metrics without detailed insight that you can use for debugging. In contrast, the on-demand diagnostic test provides the detailed analysis of your website speed and how you can improve it. For example, render blocking requests might prevent page content from rendering, resulting in a blank page, as you can see in this rendering film script. Expand this section to see exactly what scripts are render blocking and get an estimate of how much you could optimize your website without them. The diagnostic data in PageP Insights comes from Google's free Lighthouse library. That means it's also built into Chrome DevTools as well as many other PageP tools. Don't worry too much about the overall performance score. Lighthouse uses a slow mobile connection for testing, and that's often slower than the connection of a typical visitor. Testing on a slow connection is useful, as it helps emphasize slow performance and makes it easier to test out fixes. However, the performance score does not directly impact Google search results. PageSpeed Insights reports mobile data by default, but you can switch between mobile and desktop data at the top of the test result. Typically, mobile visitors will have a slower experience as devices have less processing power and are connected to slower networks. In addition to testing our site performance, Lighthouse can also detect common accessibility issues, analyze on-page SEO, and check if your website breaks any web development best practices. Expand each order to see what specific page elements you need to optimize. The real user metrics at the top of the PageSpeed Insights report are a great way to see what's really happening on your website. The Lighthouse report below can sometimes be less useful. For example, telling you that your website is slower after making optimization rather than faster. That's because it's based on a simulated mobile connection rather than actually opening a website on a low bandwidth, high latency network. That means you get quick test results, but the data can also be misleading. Our free SiteSpeed Chrome extension can surface the original measured results along with the reported metrics, helping you gauge how reliable the simulated values are. For example, if PageSpeed is better on a slower connection, you know something isn't right. To get more reliable data, you can use more advanced tools like the Debug by Website Speed Test, or web page test by Catchpoint. These tools actually slow down the network and provide more in-depth insights on how resources are loading on your page. Let's take a look at a real-world example of how we can apply a page speed optimization that Google recommends. This test report points out that render blocking requests have a big negative impact on load time. The first JavaScript file that's reported is forms2.min.js. To make a JavaScript tag not render blocking, we can use a defer attribute. Let's try this out using Chrome's developer tools. On the page, right-click and select Inspect to open the DevTools. I'll also enable mobile emulation. First, we'll collect a baseline measurement in the Performance tab. If you're on a fast connection, make sure to enable network throttling. 
we can see that the page currently loads in 3.46 seconds. Now we use a Chrome feature called Local Overrides to defer the script. If you've not used this feature before, Chrome will prompt you to go through a few additional setup steps. We can find the HTML document in the Network tab and override the content with our updated version. We'll look for forms2.document.js in the HTML code and add the defer keyword to the script tag. Now we just need to save our change and reload the page. After deferring the script, the first contentful paint metric goes down to 2.92 seconds. You can also use the experiment feature in Debug Bear to quickly try out optimizations. Select the automatic defer external scripts experiment. This will apply the change to the HTML for the script we just looked at, as well as a few others. Then click on Run Experiment. Once the test is complete, you can see the impact of the change. Here we see an FCP improvement from 5 seconds to 2.8 seconds. The video recording shows us what difference that makes to user experience. Don't worry about different tools showing you different absolute values. The test environment used for running a test has a big impact on the final scores. And the main thing to look for are changes in your metrics. Once you've deployed a change on your live site, Run another PageSpeed test to confirm it has the desired effect. PageSpeed Insights is a great place to start with performance analysis. But if you want more reliable and in-depth reporting, try out the free Debug Bear website speed test. You can also use our monitoring product to automatically test your pages on a schedule. You'll get alerted to changes in your metrics and be able to compare test results to see what caused the change. The real user data in PageSpeed Insights only provides a high-level view of your data. In contrast, our real user monitoring product reports data in real time across your entire website. Get detailed debug data to optimize visitor experience and review specific page views to see what impacted their performance.